If you've ever dodged a black cat thinking it's bad luck, congratulations, you've just been tricked by centuries of superstition. But are these sleek, mysterious felines really out to bring trouble, or is there something deeper, maybe even lucky, about them that we're missing? Turns out black cats might not just be misunderstood, they could actually be bringing more good luck than you'd think. But let's start with busting the biggest myth of them all that cats are bad luck. Most people in the United States believe that if a black cat crosses your path, you're in for some serious misfortune. And this superstition has deep roots stretching back to the Middle Ages, when black cats were often associated with witches and dark magic. You see, in those times, black cats were even thought to be witches in disguise or supernatural entities aiding their sorcery. People believed that encountering a black cat, especially at night, was a sign that evil forces were nearby. But here's where things get interesting. Not every culture sees black cats in such a negative light. In fact, in places like the UK and Japan, black cats are actually a symbol of good luck. In England, it's said that a black cat crossing your path brings prosperity, and brides are often gifted black cats for good fortune in their marriage. In Japan, we'll get to that a little bit later. And speaking of other parts of the world, in ancient Egypt, black cats weren't just respected, they were practically worshipped. That's right, in the land of the pharaohs, black cats were considered sacred, especially when associated with the goddess Bastet. Bastet was the goddess of home, fertility, and protection, and she was often depicted with the body of a woman and the head of, yeah, you guessed it, a black cat. Egyptians believed cats, particularly black ones, had protective qualities. They were seen as guardians of the home, warding off evil spirits and ensuring prosperity. In fact, cats were so highly regarded that killing one, intentionally or not, was punishable by death. It's no wonder these majestic felines were often found lounging around the homes of the elite. And if you think that's the height of cat devotion, get this. When a family died, Egyptian households would go into mourning. Families would shave off their eyebrows as a sign of grief. And in some cases, black cats were even mummified and buried with their owners, ensuring they would accompany their humans in the afterlife. So while black cats today might get a bad reputation in some parts of the world, the ancient Egyptians saw them for what they truly are. Mysterious, powerful, and maybe even a little magical. And speaking of magic, did you know that black cats might actually have a hidden superpower? Scientists have discovered that these cats aren't just unique because of their striking fur. There's actually something genetic going on that might give them an edge over other cats, especially when it comes to health, which will really surprise you later on. But believe it or not, black cats have had a knack for bringing good luck and protection in other surprising ways. For sailors. Back in the day, sailors believed that having a black cat on board would protect them from storms and shipwrecks. They were seen as good luck charms on long voyages, with many crews believing that a black cat's presence could even calm the seas. Now, it's just superstition though. Cats were practical additions to ships, keeping the rodent population under control. And for extra peace of mind, many sailors' wives would keep black cats at their home, believing that these cats would use their mysterious powers to ensure that their husbands returned safe from the sea. Now, in fact, some captains valued their ship's black cats so much that they were willing to pay huge sums of money for one. So whether it was the mystical allure or their pest control skills, black cats had a starring role in keeping sailors safe on treacherous waters. And speaking of safety, let's bust another myth, and this one's about Halloween. And have you ever wondered why black cats are considered spooky on October 31st? This goes back to our initial point, but let's dig deeper into how they became associated with Halloween. It was commonly believed that witches had familiar spirits. Animals, often black cats, that helped them cast spells. And the rumor didn't stop there. People thought witches could shapeshift into black cats, sneaking around unnoticed to carry out their magical deeds. 
the mysterious, stealthy nature of black cats only added to that fear. Now imagine it, in the dead of night, a black cat silently crosses your path, barely visible in the darkness. It's no wonder people in the past thought something otherworldly was going on. And that's how black cats became associated with Halloween. Their reputation as mystical or even dangerous creatures cemented them as a spooky icon for the holiday, alongside witches, ghosts, and skeletons. I mean, heck, their little shadowy, sleek appearance seemed to fit perfectly with the eerie vibe of Halloween night. And to this day, black cats remain a staple of Halloween decorations and lore. But the truth is, black cats are no different from any other cats. They don't have any magical powers, they don't cast spells, and they certainly aren't cursed or evil. In fact, the scariest thing about Halloween for black cats might be how people still treat them. Shelters often report a decline in adoptions around Halloween because of lingering superstitions, or worse, because people worry that pranksters might target them. And it's sad to think that these wonderful animals are passed over or even mistreated because of centuries-old myths. So because of this, black cats are given their very own holiday. That's right, every year on August 17th, people across the US observe Black Cat Appreciation Day. And this day was created to raise awareness about the unique challenge black cats face, especially when it comes to adoption. It's a chance to combat the old superstitions and misconceptions that still linger around these beautiful creatures and to celebrate their wonderful and mysterious qualities. You see, Black Cat Appreciation Day is a big deal in shelters, where staff work hard to show off the playful and affectionate side of black cats, hoping to encourage more adoptions. It's a day for sharing photos, telling stories, and giving black cats the spotlight they deserve. Some people even throw black cat-themed parties or donate to shelters specifically for black cat care. And with the rise of social media, more people are joining in, flooding timelines with pictures of their adorable black cats to show that these animals are just as wonderful as any other. And here's something super surprising. Black cats don't just have a reputation for being mysterious, they also have a bit of a color-changing trick up their sleeve, or rather in their fur. Now you might not know this, but some black cats can actually change color when they spend enough time in the sun. That pitch black fur you see, it can start to look a little rusty or even develop a reddish brown tint. And this helps because of a genetic quirk related to melanin, the same pigment that gives them their dark coat. Now here's how it works. Black cats produce a lot of melanin, which gives them that rich dark fur. But melanin is sensitive to sunlight and over time it can break down, causing the fur to fade or rust, if you will. So if your black cat spends hours basking in the sun, you might notice their fur turning a little more reddish brown. And this is similar to the process of how our hair can get sun bleached if we spend a lot of time outdoors. And interestingly, the gene that creates black fur in cats is linked to another color, tabby. Underneath that inky black coat, many black cats have tabby stripes that become more visible in bright sunlight. So in a way, your cat could be hiding a secret tabby pattern only revealed when they catch some sun. Now this color change isn't just a cool visual trick, it's actually a reminder of the fascinating genetics behind black cats. They're not just shadowy little panthers, they're carrying all kinds of surprises in their DNA. On the other side of things with cats, here's one of the more cool things, right, about black cats in pop culture. One of the most well-known ones is Salem from a popular TV show, a little dated now, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Salem was portrayed as a talking black cat with a sarcastic wit, providing comic relief and a touch of magic to the show. Now, interestingly, Salem's character plays right into the historical connection between witches and black cats, but this time it's in a fun and lighthearted way. Then there's Thackeray Binks, the black cat from Disney's Hocus Pocus. Binks, who was once a human boy, was cursed to live forever as a black cat by, you guessed it, witches. Uh, his loyalty and bravery in protecting the film's heroes have made him a beloved character, especially during Halloween season. But it's not just in movies and TV shows. Black cats are often used in advertising and branding as symbols of mystery, elegance, and independence. And you'll see them in everything from Halloween decorations to fashion brands where their black fur evokes a sense of style and sophistication. 
even though black cats started off with a bad reputation, pop culture is helping them reshape their image, turning them into icons of intrigue and charm. And it's no wonder that people are drawn to their mystique. After all, who wouldn't want a little bit of magic sitting on their windowsill? But beyond the starring roles in movies and TV, here's another surprising fact. Black cats might actually have better survival skills than their lighter colored cousin. See, it turns out that their black fur doesn't just make them look sleek. It might actually give them a biological edge. Now, some scientists believe that the genetic mutation responsible for black fur could be linked to an improved immune system. And this idea comes from a research that has shown black cats might have a higher resistance to diseases, including viral infections like FIV, which is the cat version of HIV. Now, the theory is that the mutation causing the dark fur also affects the same genes that help fight off illnesses. Think of it like a hidden superpower, one that not only gives you a gorgeous look, but also boosts your health in ways that other cats might not enjoy. And some researchers even think that studying black cats could offer insights into how to treat similar diseases in humans. Now, let's not forget about one simple practical advantage, of course, we're talking about camouflage. Black cats, especially those living in the wild or feral, can use their dark fur to blend into their surroundings at night, making it easier for them to avoid predators or sneak up on prey. So in a way, their fur doesn't just make them mysterious, it actually helps them survive. So whether it's genetics or the cover of darkness, black cats have more going on for them than meets the eye. And things that aren't what they seem. There's another myth we need to bust. Black cats being less affectionate. You know, some people believe that black cats are more aloof or independent compared to other cats, but that couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, a cat's personality is shaped by their individual temperament, not their fur color. Now, black cats can be just as playful, affectionate, and loyal as any other breed. And in fact, many black cat owners will tell you their furry companions are among the most loving and attention-seeking cats they've ever had. Now, there's even some anecdotal evidence to suggest that black cats are more sociable and easygoing than others. Some researchers speculate that because black cats have historically been overlooked in shelters, the ones that do get adopted may develop stronger bonds with their humans, almost as if they've found a second chance. So if you take the time to get to know a black cat, you might find they're every bit as affectionate and cuddly as their counterparts. And speaking of their counterparts, here's a fun one for the diehard cat lovers. Believe it or not, black cats are not just limited to one specific breed. In fact, they can be found in almost every breed of domesticated cat, whether it's a sleek short-haired cat or a fluffy long-haired beauty, chances are there's a black version of it out there somewhere. Now, some of the most popular cat breeds include the Bombay, which is known for its panther-like appearance, or the British short hair, a sturdy and affectionate breed. But black cats aren't just restricted to purebred lines. Many of the black cats we see in shelters are a delightful mix of breeds, bringing together a unique combination of traits, personalities, and yeah, their looks. And it gives them a certain type of charm. And speaking of charm, did you know that black cats can actually be symbols of love in certain cultures? In Japan, they're thought to attract romantic partners. In Japan, it's believed that owning a black cat can help attract those partners. And single women, in particular, are thought to benefit from the presence of a black cat, as it's said to bring good fortune in the matters of the heart. But that's not all. Black cats are also considered protective charms in Japan. People believe that having a black cat in your home wards off evil spirits and keeps the bad energy at bay. So in a country where symbolism and spiritual beliefs are deeply ingrained in daily life, the black cat is seen as a positive force, contrary to the negative associations we often see in the West. I mean, it's really fascinating how one animal can carry such different meanings across the globe, right? While some places fear black cats, others celebrate them for their mysterious allure, their health advantages, and even their ability to bring love and protection. And if you think black cats have a pretty amazing story, Wait until you hear about how wildly different orange cats are. 